dismissed Sunil Gavaskar five times. I think because you know Gavaskar technically, I think the uh, best batsman in that era. Absolutely, uh, Sunil. It was uh, these were definitely two price scalps for any bowler, regardless of whether it was Bob Willis or Dennis Lilly or Jeff Thompson or any of the Caribbean quicks like Malcolm Marshall or uh, Michael Holding, because Gavaskar was always special. And if they managed to get him out, uh, it was definitely an occasion to celebrate and Bob Dylan did it no less than five times and I remember watching one game which uh, we were uh, very uh, vociferously backing India for and in a very partisan way when uh, Sandi Patel was batting and he punished Bob Dylan quite a bit and then we felt uh, a little sorry for uh, uh, Willis the way he was uh, treated by Sandi Patel. Six boundaries, seven balls, one was a no ball, I think. Yes, you're right, Sudhir. You've got a phenomenal memory. And uh, we were actually uh, feeling bad for uh, Bob Willis because that is the kind of emotion he can uh, evoke from uh, fans of the game the world over. Although we weren't uh, very supportive of England or uh, on the other hand, we were so keenly supporting India and keen that India should win. But despite which, we actually felt sorry for Dylan. Oh, sorry for Bob Willis. I'm so uh, used to addressing him as Dylan because uh, you're he a music himself. lover. I know that, and you, 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 you're a fan of Bob Dylan. I feel like the very famous folk singer of America. Yes, yes, and a poet too. Yeah. I think it is the lyrics of uh, the great singer from. Uh, Dulat, Minnesota, that uh, Bob, Dele uh, Bob Willis was uh, most impressed. And uh, that's why I think he uh, had a lifelong affection for the great singer. And uh, Willis also was very unconventional. I think he adopted uh, innovations that uh, went against the book or went against convention and against tradition of cricket. But he always was a gentleman. Uh, you couldn't uh, point a finger at him when it came to the spirit of the game. He always played the game in the right spirit. And uh, even the Aussies would admit that he fought fair and square when it came to him. You were talking about his bowling action. Uh, you know, he used to run from almost the boundary line, uh, like Michael Holding used to do, uh, Joseph. Uh, I think, you know, when uh, England was not doing anything in the early 70s, I think. The action of Bob Willis, people say, you know, it added colours to English cricket, I think, because at least people would enjoy that, people say that also. Not just his action, uh, Sudhir. I think uh, he was also quite a good-looking man, and uh, we don't have too many good-looking men or women in sports, and so uh, it, I'm sure he must have drawn quite a few women into the uh, cricket grounds, because it, uh, cricket uh, in those days was primarily a man's sport and there was very little for the women to look out for. But in that case, I think he definitely was an attraction for the women. And of course, the way he conducted himself and carried himself, the poise with which he uh, wielded the microphone, uh, you know, following in the footsteps of all-time greats like uh, Christopher Martin Jenkins and John Arlett and Brian Johnston and other greats who uh, so, occupied uh, space behind the mic. I think he really carried himself off well. And uh, I'm sure the departed greats like Alert and Christopher Martin Jenkins. You forgot to add your favorite commentator, Don Mosey, I think, in that uh, elite list. Huh? Yes, <laughs> Don Mosey and uh, uh, Henry, you know, Henry Blofeld. The departed commentators, I'm sure, would welcome uh, Bob Dylan into the Elysian fields with open arms because uh, I'm sure he, they would find a lot of value in what he said and what he thinks about the game. So uh, while it is cricket's loss, it is also a gain for the Elysian fields where the past grades of cricket now decide. See, finally tell us, you know, what is that you liked in him? His commitment because you know, he was operated twice also and he bowled with pain in the late 70s, we all know that. I think you know he had two knee operations done, but still, still he bowled, bowled fantastically. I think cricketers of that generation were a lot more committed, considering that they earned much less than what their counterparts earn today. So, if one 
uh, if Willis was uh, playing cricket despite all those injuries and he was a tall man and I'm sure uh, they would have taken their toll on his uh, body but he bashed on regardless which uh, shows an indomitable spirit and a commitment to the cause if not to the game and you know they valued and prized their uh, colours or the uh, three lions that they that adorned their cap and uh, that meant a lot to them uh, you wouldn't hear of uh, cricketers of that generation doing something uh, which brought uh, humiliation or brought uh, ignominy to the sport of cricket they were all very dignified and I think he carried over that same poise and dignity into the commentators box and I'm sure as much as he won fans on the field, he would have won so many more off the field when he donned the new role of a commentator. And uh, so it's we, a big loss to the sport and to cricket commentary and to uh, somebody who speaks his mind. Uh, there are not too many of them with so many restrictions placed on uh, free opinion as Michael Holding was uh, referring to the other day about uh, various bodies and associations uh, uh, gagging the uh, free flow of opinion and information because all of them are greats of the game and they are entitled to their opinion uh, however uh, unpleasant or unpalatable it may appear to the powers that be that rule the sport today. Thank you very much Joseph. Thank you very much. निरंतर न्यूज अपडेट को सम चैनल नो सब्सक्राइब चेंडी पक्कने उन्ने बेल सिंबल नो क्लिक चेंडम मच्छ पोकंडी अपडेट्स नी मिस अवकंडी थैंक्स फॉर वाचिंग प्लीज लाइक कमेंट शेयर फॉलो ऑन फेसबुक गूगल प्लस ट्विटर इंस्टाग्राम फॉर मोर अपडेट्स प्लीज सब्सक्राइब ग्रेट तेलंगाना टीवी